o te lo a oe a oe me está o me está to soy fuá malo lo ina y a me está o le hasta lea o te está una epicía le soy fuá malo lo ina y lume y o lo te hacía un mato le ve y soy fuá malo lo ina o ne y le fiafe o te está o me y le sofá mal hasta lea y le está no a bai y o le ale a un a o le bai y a fea ma fea e a fa ma mai fa fo pe a e fa ma lu tu lo e a ma tu ton fo e la o ton fa e ta la no a tu ma e ma i mao pe a na le le i ma le me le a e a i me a ma na i a i le a ta o te ma na o langa i le mfa in ta to lo a tu tu ton o le tino i wish a sao se sol experts like oh every evening i come here to help please o te tonu o le tino, e te tauna e mala malama, i le vaile te tonu o le tino. O le, o le, o le, e iai le vai vai inga o le vai. O le vai vai inga o le vai. E iai le, le, fa pea, e mei tau mele mea, ICF. O le ICF. O le vaile e ta, o le intracellular. Intracellular fluid. O le vaile e ta, e to tonu o sele o loutino, mo se fata inga, a fe o sele e o loutino, o le vaile e fata ele pe fufulu ma e to tonu, o la e to tonu o le sele le o lo ye la te i. Ia, o le ao ngale o le pesini vai, e fufulu ai, ia, a ao, ia, o au feitao langa. Ia, pe na uma tato tala no ino, a le la la tele i, le fam tala ngal po nei, se fa va ve atu te o ta mai le longo. Le vai va ina o le vai ito tonu. Le vai le lento fam talatu. Le vai le ito tonu o sele o le tino. E ta ua o le ICF, o le intracellular fluid. O le vai le a... O le vai le i fafo o sele. E ta ua o le ICF, extracellular fluid. O le vai le a... E lua o na va enga. Le ta ua le ISF. O le vai le a... E le va o sele. A fe o sele o le tino. O le vai la le ta amilo le va le a... Vainata o le ISF. A le vailea o le intravascular fluid o to tonu lea o le ala a toto. So, ICF lea, to tonu o sele mea ye lua. O le vailea ta o le ICF. O le vailea o le ICF. Lea i, va i le va o sele ia. Lea. A to tonu lea o le ala a toto. Lea ka o le plasma. Plasma o plasma lea a to o e tu ili toto. O le vai le, e fiso soa ni kili vai inga i a red blood cells, le ilo o kesene le pipi ili me pese fa a mau la potu potu. E ma fai e o nao ole o kesene po le ola lea, o nao mai lo release nga e sele ia ina i a ola ai, i a maisi me ale ta o le white blood cells, o la tau ia la te faitinga i a siyama, pe hao ina sao te tonu lo tino. O le vai la na, la o ke kili vai inga, i a e ma fo fo nei, a fai le lava la wini vai, ma fo angana e fo e ti nga lo tino, lo tino po le ulu foe po la e le o ma fai o no o le le va inga le a le no fa ma tala atu o le vai le to tonu i e te mana va ina o lo ki sene o na sa u le o le e ana e le ma fai na alu le e ana po le melis falong savili i o wala toto e pipi i pe bind i le melis o le hemoglobin le la poto poto i i o na kiliva o le vai la na Leo pe o pe ai mei e to tonu lo ala toto i a ma mea ai tau ma fai e faonga i ne o e liu sua vai i a ma kiliva tu lo i sele i na i ma fai onga faonga i na i a e manatu mai i le vai lea o lo fai ai tu lo ma lo spinal cord o vaenga i a e lua o le central nervous system ta lo ai o le o tu tu le taimi e i a i le vai e fea lo ai i e baak pe fa ma mai fo i i a vaenga i a A fai a le se vai le tino, o le a te le le fa a le tonu, mena ta a wai le ingu vai. A fai fai ngal fang wingu a le me te ingua, e te le le fa a le tonu, ma fu anga na ilinga maua tangata ili mau ili o le cold stone, fa ku maa. O te le le fang wingu ma le suka ili liu e le tino e vema acid, o na to a lole i o to vai ma tua, kaut, ngungu, ma i le lava li nu vai, a wa te le le suka ma i fang wingu. O le vai la le ta o le CSF cerebro, o le fai ai, Spinal or low to a CV, or the moment of a cerebral spinal fluid. Or the vaina letter amilo e, 
to te lo foia tu i i le tu i fo ma i me le vai i e ave su e po ai si fa ma i mo to a so ta o te le le in vai e te le la val pa sen e ta lo vai o no lo ti o ti le tai mi o ti ta mo faia e rasha tu pe fa to pe to pe tu na na i me ta o al me le man tu a pe a umal ta to se full waso o le aso so a tu a faia te fia o la malolo ina o le ieli sport kalame so fu a malolo ina e le lima anal to lu Piki mai lau tau tau lu fa fai ngau fie, o na fa au wau wai le o le tau por kalami le o le a fai fai le mu ma atu tau o na fa abe seng atu, o le tino le anganga ma le ma fau fau, a o fa anga solo por kalami kili, tangwe mai tau le fa le fta fai, pete lo le fa ta tianga mai o soi fua maloloina ile fa le fta fai, a yai se me tau a tau te a oina mai le se fulu a sonei. Ia tatu ta talo ilia tua, ia maole manu maalo, ia vei tato ma tangata tino maalo lo ina lilei, fa pa ia ina mol maalo ilia tua. Oai olo onga tonu lo soifua maalo lo ina. Iesu. O tae au, o le atato tala noa ai, enfantu ale ata mua mua fama le mole viliamu. William, please, le lau kopia kua. Wale li ta me li longo. Awa ne ingale o tou o tou mama e ye fo le vai o ba fa inga e mama va inga nga e te le la vale le le ta o lo mala 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 na fa ya tu i le ata le William yeah le ata ngai longa yeah it's alright. O tae au, o le atato tala ngono le tu ufata singa, o mea ia lua, le i fafo i, o le toto le ntata tala ngono ai, ma le vai, o le alo na o nga, o le alo na fata taunga, i a i tatou, le atato tu ufata sia, le mele, o tou mana tua no tala ngono te o tou i le toto, o la tou ia e fafanga ina lo tino, they feed the cells of the body, al vaenga lea, o la tou ia fa ama ina, so al vaenga le tau o le blood system, Ao i o le lymphatic system ia o tato mata opuna moa tae ao. E se fesili, monei, taua le inubai, taua tele lo inubai. O i la tole e tele le ingu i le apa ingu. E talo le li e mele malo si e te ono sa e ia ima e manu malo le apa ingu. O la tofu i le ia e tele i le tama fele manu ta talo le atua a mele malo si. E te manu mā loa i i. Sa o te tālo le atua, fa amore mo so sorry mai. A unio to e fo ili i a problema. Nei a o tango te tālā la patuna. A i pēfe mei se si, ei. La o tau tālo, o fa tāi le atua. E fa amore nga tu le nganga pa i a fa mei tu le epa. E te tango lo le pia, fa ia tu le nganga pa i a tātua spitu. E te tango lo le mele te to i lalo, fa mele nga pia. Hei, mana tua le mele a. Ia, fa tāi fa fonga pa pele si si ili. Oi. Matamua, susu metai au, ola usawa i maletalina, ola avai avai atuai le paseno le vai ete tau ona fa onga ina. Ese sfili, le ka mele longo. Ola fa atali le longo ya tato pele ai. Ha? Le ai. Kwe kui fo le siaka. Two more minutes. Kui fo le siaka. Yeah. <coughs> Red blood cells and white blood cells. Okay. Oleala fam talang li fatu ye emala malama lo toto. Red blood cells ulal me lei torina. Ole okisene le kiliva le me pin fa mau. Ele me fine alu le air like that. Let ma nava i oi ma ma ona pipi i lole ile meleta ole hemoglobin on kiliva lole like that. O le ala o talan fai atu i white blood cells. O le ala to tiute. O le ato ia e fai tinga fa amai. So a yes e fa amai i o le defensing system le ali tino. A tele la a ave fua lo toto a e fua atu o a tele la va white blood cells. O long a winga o la yes e a. Jo? Infection. O la wese infection to tonu. Be a tele la va. Um... Lala fianga lo totel massima, lala mia tupo pe a tele massima. 
Eli leo le masima, eli leo le mwenye ngao papa e tolo tolo, e fa pengale alo le mwa le toto, wa slow way, fa fta ifa fonga. Let us pray for the offering. Heavenly Father, thank you for the giving hearts that were shown today in the giving of this offering. And I pray, Father, that you would bless this offering to further your work and to finish the work in this generation, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. I'd like to say welcome to all of God's family this evening to uh, day number eight. Amen? Day number eight. Wow, the time really flies. And um, I've really enjoyed our time together this uh, past days. And uh, it's too bad it's almost over, huh? Maybe next year, if I live 20 days, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I thank God for the 10 days um, revival, but the 10 days of prayer that we've uh, had, that we may gather together and pray together especially, and to also study the Word of God together. I have a lot to say in a little time, so we're just going to get started. Amen? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this is your time. There are things happening right now, 
upon the planet which you have shown us, you have shown your people, time is almost finished. And you have allotted us these ten days to remind us of what, what may we have forgotten. But thank you, Lord, that you are a God that loves to remind us, a people that tends to forget. And so as we are being reminded, Lord, I pray that you would move our hearts, our desire to obey exactly what you have shown us. That we might get ready, get ready, get ready. For we have to die a greater death to the world than we have ever yet died. And so bless your people with the Holy Spirit today. Pour him out mightily in this place, but especially in our hearts and our, in our minds to lead us and to guide us into all truth, to convict us of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. And may you move us through the Holy Spirit, that if we haven't made a decision to give our lives to you yet, may you move us to make it even today. Is our earnest prayer, forgive us of sin, that may hinder you from listening or answering this prayer, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Mateo. Matthew chapter 24. We'll begin here. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. And we're going to read starting from verse 32 and 33. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24. Matthew chapter 24, we're going to read verse 32 and verse 33. Matthew lo sumalfa, fai upo tolu sumalua, male tolu sumalitolu. A mawa, fai tau fai tasi, fai mule lava, iya. The Bible says in Matthew 24, verse 32 and 33, Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts forth leaves, you know that what? Summer is, is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near even at the, at the doors. This is a last day's text. Ole maulea tu spa ielen tato fai tawina. Ole maulea it has to do with ole taimi ole yunga. It has to do with the last days right before Jesus comes. And the Bible says that when you see, notice the parable of the fig tree. It says when its branch has already become tender, it's put forth its leaves. You know that summer is near. So if it's saying that if we see the events of the last days happening all around us. Know that summer is near. And so we have been preaching for years that Jesus is coming soon. But in our evangelistic meetings, when we would preach evangelistically and we would preach the prophecies, we always understand the last days or what's coming to us is the uh, enforcement of certain laws that will cause us to worship on a day that we do not worship on. Are we together? And so this is what we've been prophesying, we've been talking about. The Bible says, when that time comes, at a, in a, at a certain day, that's the time, if it comes, I mean, when you see it starting to happen, summer is near. Or that fast time, what is summer? Time you're mafafana? Ah, for my availo or to what to pume here? Or lots and lots of my let time you're mafafana. Are we together? In other words, the events that we have been prophesying for years as a Seventh day Adventist is known to the Bible as summertime. Saopese. So therefore, if we see these things happening, know that summer is near, then what time are we in? 
We're in the spring. Matter of fact, I'm what is spring. We're in the springtime. Are we together? But he says, but when you see the events of the, uh, 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 of the Bible prophecy occurring, when prophecy begins to fulfill right before your eyes, summer is near. I say, ah, wa fa tu sai le tu spa ia, o tai mi leo pupu anga, mo le ka le sia le tu. I say, ah, wa fa tu sai tai mi o mai ai le nevevela. Why are the last days, the final events of Bible prophecy, why does the Bible liken it to summer? What is summer known for? It's known for the heat, the heat, saobese. It's known for the aasaole, ole la. Anything come to mind? Aasa, ole la. E e e e ni tangata itapwa ile la. E e se. Are there people on the earth that worship the sun? Are there people that worship on the day of the sun? Yes or no? The Bible tells us soon and very soon there is an entity that worships the sun that shall come and persecute God's people. Another way to say that, Are you following? Another way to say that is the heat of the, of the sun. Are we together? And so when it says this, it says, watch out. Summer is near. I say, And God's people during the time of summer is a time where are we ready for the time of persecution? Young people, are we ready for the time of persecution? Yes. Are you ready to be a Shadrach, Meshach, and a Daniel? Shadrach, Meshach, and, and Abednego, what did they say? They said, King, we have no need to explain ourselves to you. We will not bow down to your statue because we have a God who will save us. But even if he doesn't save us, we still won't bow down to your statue. Amen? Amen. Who will stand for the right, though the heavens fall. So what do you say, church? Are we ready for the time of persecution? Summer is near. And so here is what we're learning from this mighty parable that summer is near. And I want to share something with you today. I just found this out today, so I'm sharing it with you today. I'm going to share, and this is especially for our Seventh-day Adventist church. We might have visitors here. Now, this might not be something you might understand, but if you keep coming all year long, amen, you'll understand. Pastor Willie is excellent in giving uh, seminars of Bible prophecy. He'll make sure you'll understand. But right now, God has given uh, something to me to give to you right now, but it's especially for my Seventh-day Adventist people. Are we together? What I'm about to show you, you as a Seventh-day Adventist should understand what I'm talking about. If you do not know or understand what I am talking about or what I'm about to show you right now, tatalo. If I saw Bible study, to catch you up. Amen? But by now, if you've been in the church for years, you should know these Beale A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Are we together? We should know this by now like the back of our hand. But notice. Notice what this says. When the leading churches of where? When the leading churches of the, U, of the United States, when the leading churches of the United States uniting upon such points of Doctrine as are held by them in common shall influence the state to enforce their decrees and to sustain their institution, then Protestant America will have formed an image of the Roman hierarchy or an image of the Roman beast and the infliction of civil penalties 
upon the censors will inevitably be what? Result. Fight itself at Sasi from the Mule Lava Ia. How many of you know that this is happening already? If you touch all, or from a more than a month, fall on love. See, my touch all lima, there were way lower, way lower, what to put me here. Did you know that this is happening already? That's a very small percentage. That's why we're having this 10 days. This is especially is supposed to revive the Seventh Day Adventist Church. Why? Because especially Tantole e America Samoa, I don't think you're aware of what's going on back home or my home. That's Olemanu Feile na Olfalinga Solmana Tolu no Nalua. The second beast of Revelation 13 is America. That's where I live. And we are keeping our eyes on the thing that's happening between Le Ecclesia Male and the United States. And what you don't understand is there are things happening right now. There are many of us in the church that think, you don't understand. Prophecy is being fulfilled right now. Time is almost finished. Notice this. This is today. This is called the POTUS shield. POTUS. It's an acronym. It's President of the United States Shield. This is the inaugural convocation. You know what this is? This right here is uh, going to happen right before his the President Donald Trump's Inauguration. Well, I'm not saying more inauguration. Fau or President or Donald Trump. This is what's going to happen before, right before it. What is this? Notice this. What is the POTUS? Now, let me read it to you because you can't see it. It says, "A council of prelates assembling to raise up a spiritual shield in Washington D.C. prior to President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration." We are summoned to share and lead this anointed assembly in intercession, prayers, declaration, and decrees. 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 When they unite on points of doctrine as held by them in common, shall influence the state, that's the government, to enforce their... Decrees. So notice what they're doing here. This is gathering to the, so that they can let their decrees, their prayers, declaration, and decrees of the word of the Lord over our nation. Notice, this is their mission statement. As some of the faith leaders and, pro and prophets that first heard and declared the will of God for this election process, and specifically the breaker anointing upon Donald Trump to usher in a... A new era. We are now assembling to humbly invoke the voice of the Lord. We are prayerfully committed to see, to hear, to declare, and to decree, and to prepare the way for what? Reformation and what? What does that mean? That means we're going to bring the church to run the, the state. In this spirit, our inaugural principles of our mission includes. This is the, the, their mission that they want to uh, uh, do here. Now, notice. I want you to show something. Now, I want to jump down to number three. This is their part of their mission statement. To connect as an ap apostolic network exclusively assigned to the affirmation and reformation of the United States of America as one nation under who? Under God. Notice this. Number four. To discern, declare, and... 
decree the strategies of the Lord for our The United States does not run its government by listening to the church. That's why the United States separate church and state. But this enforcement here is seeking to put the church in charge of the state. It says here, to prepare the way and coordinate the simultaneous spiritual alignment of the kingdom shift that is manifesting and impacting the government and the church to lay the foundation to convene in Philadelphia in March during Purim to declare a renewed covenant as the renewed United States of as one nation under and to commission and plan similar covenants in each of the what? Now watch. These is the council members. These are the leaders of the evangelical church in the United States. These are the guys that are heading this POTUS shield. These are the guys that are in charge of bringing God's will to run the government. United States. That's not a good thing. Are you following? Notice this. It says, we are gathering as the POTUS shield to prepare the way for the what? For the shift in our... Where are they shifting it to? Remember, all this time, all the people that don't believe in God, they've been shifting the nation this way to the left. All this time, for the past eight years, under President Obama, the people who don't believe in God and, 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 and all that other secular things, uh, homosexuality, the marriage and things, they were pushing the government all the way this way. They were pushing against the Christians all this time. Well, guess what the Christians are going to do now? They're going to push back. And guess where they're going to push it? All the way to the, to the right. Where, Time is almost finished. Notice this. Notice what Trump says. For my Donald Trump. Donald Trump says, I want to give power back to the, to the church. Do you know who put Donald Trump in president? In the, uh, uh, you know who the, the, the main people who put Donald Trump as president? It was the Protestant church. Why? Because Eloah, if I had Donald Trump, the finangalo alekalesia. Are you following, church? Time is almost finished. You see, you're over here in Samoa, you don't understand what's going on back home. The things is wrapping up. The final movements, we're told, are rapid ones. And so I plead with you tonight, especially if you're a Seventh-day Adventist, to follow Vamaletua. Make a decision for Christ. Because these things are happening very, very quickly. Are we together? Now, I'm not saying that, I don't know, maybe God might put a stop to it to give us more time. Who knows? What I am saying is, this is their plan. Whether God will allow it to go through, or whether God will put a halt to it to give us more time, we don't know. But here's the point. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Amen? This is what we've been saying. Summer is almost here. Are we together? And so this is what we're, uh, uh, this is why we're studying the, the sanctuary. I say that. Because only those, they are able to go through these last day events and not compromise their faith. Are we together? If you are not in the most holy place by faith, when these things go down, you will give in. Are we together? And that's a part of our subject tonight. Tonight is the part of manna. Part of manna. Olesi upu fa piratani or part is a vessel. Ah, lalfa samole vessel. Yeah? 
A vessel. No, we don't know. Vessel. A vessel. Now remember, in the book of Acts, God calls Paul a chosen vessel. Are we together? So, oi fa tu sai le vessel. Tato, sao pese. Because uh, uh, in the book of Acts, in Tusing Aluenga, uh, God calls Paul a chosen vessel. And so, in Mafaina fa tu sai le vessel ya ita. Tato. So, notice the pot of manna or the vessel of manna. What is the lesson that we're learning from that, just straight up from that? Manna in the, in the vessel. Oi le manna, oi le areto. O Yesu, oi le vessel. Tato, o la le sona mawai. O Yesu, itu tonu ota, tonu tato. Itu mawai. Amen? That's the lesson that we're learning uh, there. So now, notice the pot of manna. Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16. Exodus chapter 16. Now, we went through already through the gate. We went through the gate. Jesus is the, is the gate. He is the way, the truth, and the, and the life. Then we went to the altar of sacrifice, which represents the death of self and Christ living in us. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, not I, but Christ who liveth in me, then we come to the labor. This is a representation of the old you buried in God and Christ resurrecting in, in you. And so this is again representing the death of self and the resurrection of Christ. We have the table of showbread, which represents the bread of or Christ. We have to eat that and, and have him inside of us, So which represents the death of self and Christ living in in us. Then we have the seven branch candlestick, or the tungala mepa aro. This represents the light of the world. We have to shine our, our light. This piece was made out of one piece. And this represents that when they took the block of gold, he had to chisel away the certain things. And then what was left was the seven branch candlestick. That represents the chiseling away the things from our hearts or from our lives that we don't need, that has to do with sin. And what's left is the character of of God. And so now we entered into the most holy place and we're to discussing what's in the Ark of the Covenant. Last night we talked about Aaron's rod, Porto Toa Arona, and today is the, the, ma, the manna. Le, le manai is what we're going to talk about today. Now, Esotso Sumayono, Tato Faitsao Fa Tasi Faupoe Fa Mal Faupoe Lima, Fomen Mole Lava, Ia. The Bible says in Exodus 16, verse 4 and 5, Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you, and the people shall go out and gather a certain quota every day that I may test them whether they will what? Walk in my law or not, and it shall be on the sixth day that they shall prepare what they bring in, and it shall be twice as much as they gather what? Daily. Now, if I tell you, 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 I
The Bible says in verse 14, well, verse 15 and 16, So when the children of Israel saw it, they said to one another, What is it? For they did not know what it was. And Moses said to them, This is the bread which the Lord has given to you to eat. This is the thing which the Lord has commanded. Let every man gather it according to each one's need, one omer for each person, according to the number of persons. Let every man take for those who are in his tent. And so notice, to go out and gather a certain quota every day. What a certain quota. And if they didn't get the amount, how much quota how much? Etasile de Omera. This is how much it is. So notice, why did he tell them to go out and gather a certain amount of quota per day? He says, so I can test them to see if they'll keep my, my law. Are we together? Now notice. Notice. Just get what you you need. If you don't get just what you need, the Bible says that God had tested them to see if they'll keep my my law. Are we together? Now are there laws that we have if we gather too much food or if we eat too much food? Are there, are there laws? Do we have laws? Yes or no? What are those laws? They're called the health laws. Are we together? Do we have laws in which our body functions in, uh, according to? Yes. And what happens when you break the laws of the body? That's how you get sick. That's how you get disease. That's how mawaile le le ngungu. Because when you get ngungu, that means you ate too much. Because for my lekwa, certain quota. But when you go over the quota, mawaile ngungu, because you broke in the health laws. Are you following? You know what I mean. When you get ngungu, then it's because you've broken the health laws. That's why God said, I want to show my eye. Are we together? Are we together? But they know how to eat with a quota. Certain what? Certain, and that's it. It's called temperance. Tempranisi. You only eat what you need, and that's, and that's enough. Love and law. Are we together? But notice, I want you to notice them. Keep your finger here. Numeram tau pasumatasi. Numeram tau pasumatasi. Numeram tau pasumatasi. <clears throat> Numeram tau pasumatasi. Numbers chapter 11. Keep your finger on Exodus. We'll come back. Go to Numbers 11. And taso fai tau fa tasi fai upu e tol sumal tasi. Taso fai tau fa tasi fai upu tol sumal tasi. If I'm not smart, fai upu tol sumal tol. Notice what the Bible says here in Numbers chapter 11. We're going to read verses 31 to 33. Amau le numera tau pu sumal tasi fai upu tol sumal tasi. If I'm not smart, fai upu tol sumal tolu. Iya.
So notice what the Bible says here in verse 31 and verse 32. Well, tell me that lesson complain like Israel, ah, and they might not aile with few of four aile man, I may lang, ah. So we'll complain, Manao Seman, my Ecopito, man, I wish for my, I wish I could go back to Egypt. They have a lot of Fasbovi over there. I wish I can go back to Egypt. I don't want to go to the promised land where there's only fruits and vegetables. I want to go back to Egypt where they have the fish, the Fasbovi, the, the Mumu. Because over there, I just pop a pill, I'll be okay, and I'll keep eating. Instead of going to the land flowing with milk and honey, in which if you eat that, it can heal you forever. And you don't have to pop a pill and eku eku my leg, my, my, you know, on Sabbath. Are we together? And so notice here, if ya o mira ninasa, na how mai, if ya o mira, is it full? Wake up your life. For my leg, go kasi, I owe our money, say, say full, and for my good spire, ele momoe, le poa, koa. God wants you to live a long and an abundant life, a healthy life. He doesn't want you to be sick. You know, notice among our people, the cancer rate has skyrocketed. It's mainly because of the food that we're eating. And if you notice, the, the, the number of diseases upon this island have skyrocketed ever since McDonald's came here. Before McDonald's came here, because we still ate from the land. Saulo McDonald's, Carl's Jr., pizza. When they came here, the amount of disease on this island skyrocketed. Are you following? I'm not saying that going to a restaurant is bad. That's not what I'm saying. Because I go and eat at a restaurant. What I am saying is balance. Balance. Uh, now, uh, um, um, uh, Pastor, Willie, uh, Pastor Willie's wife has been presenting the health message or health talks here. And uh, I wish we had time to break that down in the sanctuary because, of, well, let me just do it right now. Is it okay? I want you to notice this real quickly and then we'll move on. It's only found here. Are we together? When you move into the holy place, but what is in here is cooked uh, vegan food. Alfasamole vegan. Se o ngakuka le 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 arbeto. Ele ise se se susu por se me esau mai mai le mano. Efa nga efa yai le Are we together? Nothing from animal products was used to make the the bread. So it's telling you that when you move from here you should become vegan here. But you can still eat cooked food because God understands the transition. Masangigako, we eat cooked food here, so he's trying to help us transition by still eating cooked food, but just kind of putting away the, 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 the meat, seeing, putting it away. Are we together? And then from here, you move into the holy place, and what food do you find in here? You find the manna. And the manna, is it cooked? It's what? It's raw. Which means that's the, that's the diet of heaven. We're going to eat raw foods. In other words, we're going to eat right off the tree. We're going to eat food from the land, in other words. So that's why God is trying to move us to a, a, a more raw diet. I say, appetite Because it is KFC, it is Pizza Hut, it is Coca Cola, it is Sprite, it is all that's going to be there is food that's going to cause you to live everlasting. And so it makes sense. It's a time for you to appetite. 
It makes sense to prepare your appetite for heaven because while you're here, you're supposed to live as if you're about to live in, in heaven. So at some point, I'm not saying it has to be right now, although I'm not ruling that out. It can be right now. What I'm saying is at some point in your walk with Jesus, now some of you who aren't Seventh-day Adventists are probably thinking, well, if I put away meat, then where am I going to get my protein? Ah, well, here, here's a question. Where did the animal get their protein? The animal got their protein from the plants that they eat. Are you following? So you can get your protein by cutting away the middle guy and going straight to the source. Amen? You go straight to eating the, the plants that they get their protein from. And so there's a lot of plant foods which you can eat and which can give you protein. Fasamor protein or le... Proteini, ah. Proteini. Just add an E at the end and then it's a Samoan word. Proteini. <laughs> so, anyways, now back. Exodus. We gotta go. We gotta go. How much time do I have left? Oh boy. Here we go. And so ah. And so notice here, one omer was teaching us that temperance. You only need a certain amount, and then that's it. Right? And then notice what we're noticing here. It says, on the sixth day, how much do they gather? Uh, let's see. Lua sumale tasi, afa ngatsa mai fa upoe lua sumale fitu. Fa tau fa tasi fa upoe lua sumale tasi afa ngatsa mai fa upoe lua sumale fitu iya. Notice what the Bible says here, that on the sixth day, they were together twice as, as much. I say, because on the seventh day, you won't find any. Are we together? Now, watch this. Um, <clears throat> on the sixth day, did they have a short amount of time? Yes. Did they have a, a short period of time to gather the manna? Yes. What time did they have until to gather the manna? Until when? So on the sixth day, it wasn't available all day, was it? It was only available until when? Until when? Until the sun and melt it. Are we together? What is that showing us? It said, and when the, according to his need, and when the sun became, in the English, when the sun became hot, and then what? It melted. What day are we living in? We're living in day Day six, we have to gather manna until when? Until summertime. We have until summertime, I say, because that's when the sun becomes hot. And then what? We'll never know. 
No more. Are you following? We just went over about how summer is very near. close, very near. In other words, soon and very soon, the present truths of God will not be available. Which is why now is the time for you to understand and to get understanding. Salpese. We must gather manna. We must gather twice as much. Why do we need to gather twice as much? We need manna for the sixth day, but we also need manna when, when it's summertime. I say, because all the summer, asala, what I say. So, what manna are you going to li live off of if you're not going to if if you didn't gather enough manna? Momai. But guess who wants to who who wants to who's going to be offering manna at that time? who's going to be offering manna at that time? Do you know who? Satan is going to be offering manna at that time. But it's going to be false manna. And at that point, because it's a nofoala, mataala, itaso sauninga, i Bible study, i launga, tulemoe, by the time you wake up and now you want some manna, God is not going to have any manna because at that time, there's going to be a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread and water, but a famine of hearing the word of God. But somebody else is going to be preaching the word of God. God. And you're going to go to him to get it because you're not going to get it from the, from the Lord's. Was there na yait sa ngat sa na o lias fitu e tawa o may ni manay? Ah, ano na tasa fight tawa yah? Na yait si manay? No. That's why you must collect it right now, because when there's no more manna, you're gonna be like, oh, oh, what's supposed to happen again? Ola, ola me la tupo, o a me e e e e, o wa e ala. Somebody help me understand. It's too late. You should have stayed awake when we had the 10 days of prayer. Are you following? And so this is what we're seeing here now. I want you to notice this. It is the summertime. But notice. Notice. There was a time, it was called the Dark Ages, when persecution came heavily upon God's people. And at that time, Satan was trying to make sure that manna was not available. Are we together? When I first saw more Dark Ages, Taimir Pongisa, or Taimina, Satan made sure that there was no, at that time, he was trying to. Get it out. And it was called the Dark Ages. And notice, Tanyelum Tau Puevalu. Tanyelum Tau Puevalu. This is the, we're almost to the end of our study here. Tanyelum Tau Puevalu. Very interesting. I want you to notice this. Now, if you have a pen, you should take notes about this. This is very interesting, and this should confirm to you the faith that you're in. Daniel, Tanyelum Tau Puevalu. I want you to notice this. Daniel chapter 8. Daniel um tau pe valo. Tasu fai tau pa tasi le fai u pe luo suma le tolu e fa ngata mai fai u pe luo suma lima. I'm sorry. Daniel um tau pe fitu. Daniel um tau pe fitu. Fai tau pa tasi fai u pe luo suma le tolu e fa ngata mai fai u pe luo suma lima. We're at Daniel 7 verse 23 and we're reading to verse 25. Uh, my English speaking people just follow along as we read in the Samoan language. That's what I tell for us. Thank you. 
si ilo ta so fai tsau tsanyelu tsau pe valu fai o posuma tsasi ma suma lua tsanyelu tsau pe valu tsau fai o posuma tsasi ma suma lua we're now shifting to Daniel 8 verse 11 and verse 12 fai tsau fai tsas ia Notice here, in the Dark Ages, during the time of the Dark Ages, there was a church during the Dark Ages, according to Daniel, that took the sanctuary and the truths of the sanctuary and cast it down. Oh my. Ile time me ole pongsa? Time me pongsa in the dark ages. Sa avea le upumoni ale fatsa fetsa tafai. What if tafai? And what did they do? He cast it down. Pasa more casting down? La frilalo. Ah. In other words, ole lo tsu lea, le na tsu fa tsasi mal malo, na sao took all the truths of the sanctuary and left for cast it down. What does it mean? Why don't we going to cast it down? In other words, what is the truth about the altar of sacrifice? What is the truth about the gate? What is the truth about the gate? The truth about the gate is Jesus is the, is the gate. He is the way, the truth, and the no. So, what is the truth about the altar of sacrifice? That we are justified by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Christ. But now, we forgive you of your sins. You pay us, and we will forgive your sins. You pay us, and we'll take your loved one out of purgatory. Are we together? And then it says, uh, what about the labor? What is the truth about the labor? Ole Papa? The truth about the labor is you're baptized by immersion. But uh, sprinkling is good enough. And then what happened here? What is the truth about the showbread? It is the word of God, now the priest. Now So I will fake one. And plus, it wasn't available to anybody else. They made laws that if you read it, you're gonna die. You can't understand it, only the priest could. Are we together? And then what happened? What is the truth about the lampstand? That Jesus is the light of the world. world. Nope, not Jesus. And then what is this? What is the truth about the ultimate? Ole, tatalo. From my le lo to from my. You can't pray to God. Only we can. You just come, come into our little room that has a little here. Ah, it's a ole lo to le time in pongisa. Eye la to potu fa pe ah. And what do they do? They confess their... They copy the... Now anyways, so then, and then what do they do with this? What is inside here? They reached up in there, took the Ten Commandments, and took the fourth one and said, No! No more seven-day Sabbath. Are you following that? They took the truths of the sanctuary and what? Cast it down. Are we together? And then, for throughout the dark ages, no one understood this. No one knew about this until one day, na mata le reformation. Alafa samo le reformation. Yep, reformation. Right? 
And then there was this guy. His name was John Wycliffe. In the late 1300s, in the 1400s, John Wycliffe comes onto the scene. He is the morning star of the... And he translated the what? The Bible into the common language of the people so that the masses could find out the truth for themselves. And so notice here, I forgot to mention here. In other words, all these things represent Jesus Christ. What they did was take Jesus and they what? They cast it down. Jesus also said that he is the bread of life. So therefore, you can say that these are all a type of bread because they're all a type of Jesus. Moamite. In other words, but God said, no, 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 no. We still need manna to be available because we need the manna to be put in the vessel. Are we together? And so how does God make sure that the manna is still here? Again, John, in the late 1300s, early 1400s, now, Matzaili Reformation, he brought the Bible and translated it into the common language of the people so that the, ma- the masses could find out the truth, truth for them. Yeah. So what did he do? He put this back. He restored it. Momai. Sauti Apollo, erase Uman Melea. A Matzaloli Reformation, a Matzamaya John Wycliffe. John Wycliffe brought the table of showbread back. Momai. Then, Martin... Luther, in the 1500s, Martin Luther comes onto the scene. And then Martin Luther is raised up. He, God raised this man up who preached the truth about what? Justification, Justification by faith. faith. That you can only be saved through faith in the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Christ. So what did he restore? He put back the altar of sacrifice. sacrifice. Are you following? Yeah. And then in the, the mid-1500s, a man by the name of John Calvin, his strong emphasis was on prayer in the life of the Christian. He was the leader of the Congregational Presbyterian and the churches. He was the father of these churches. Are you following? And so then he he restored the altar of incest. And then in the 1600s, John Smith, his emphasis was on what? Baptism by He said, hey, you're not supposed to baptize like this. You're supposed to by immersion. So then, and he was the founder of the, of the Baptist church. Are you following, guys? And so then he restored the labor. The labor. Are you following? See, throughout the ages, God was making sure his manna was still available for his people to collect. Why? Because he needs the manna in the vessel. And so what's next? Notice in the 1700s, John Wesley, who had a strong emphasis on evangelism, witnessing, being a light to the world. And he was the founder of the, of the Methodist church. And so therefore, what did he do? He restored the seven branch candlestick. Are you following? And so notice late 1300s, 1400s, 1500s, 1600s, 1700s. What is the last one left? Umar 1400s, Umar 1500s, Umar 1600s, Umar 1700s. What movement came onto the scene in the 1800s to restore the final piece that's missing? A preacher by the name of William Miller comes onto the scene. And he restores the law of God, which included the? Sabbath. And also the? Judgment. judgment. The Millerites eventually in 1863 became the Seventh-day Adventist Church. All Seventh-day Adventists, all we are, are a gathering of, what, of, of our ancestors who used to be Lutherans, Presbyterians, Baptists, Methodists. Those people came out of those churches when they discovered the law of God and the? 
Sabbath and basically created the Seventh-day Adventist Amen. church. Are we together? Amen. The Methodist church is the closest church to our beliefs. The only difference between us and the Methodist is the Sabbath. Are you following? In the 1800s was the final movement to restore the final peace, which now is the full sanctuary. Are you following? All these truths were brought about by the reformers. Are you following? The Seventh-day Adventist church, all we did was take all these truths and put them together. That's why our brothers and sisters in the other churches, they only have pieces of the sanctuary. But we have the entire thing. This is also known as the everlasting gospel. This is why I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. Amen? Amen. Don't be shy. It's okay. Amen. Amen. That's why you're a Seventh-day Adventist. You are part of a prophetic movement. This church, before it became a denomination, was a movement, which means we're designed to move, not stand still. Amen? And God wants to restore unto you your prophetic identity. You're here for a reason. You're here to declare the everlasting gospel. You're here to declare the way of salvation. Oleala or Farotanga. All the way through to where? To the Ark of the Covenant in which you, the vessel, now have the manna inside of you. Are you following? And so this is what we're seeing here. Satan tried to the manna. But God wouldn't let the manna melt. Not yet. Because he needs a people to reflect the image of God, which is a vessel with a manna that is inside that does not stink and does not rot, but it sustained forever. Are we together? That is God's... Notice, guys, every single furniture that we have gone through every evening, it represents... That's what it's designed to do, to restore us back into the image of God in which we were created in the... In the beginning. Eden lost to Eden restored. Amen? Amen? This is what God's plan is for each and every one of us. And so we must gather this manna. All the truths that you've been gathering so far, you must gather and you must put them in internally. I say, because soon and very soon, now o my summer time, e asai lea. Ela. And, and once the time is over, he that is holy, let him be holy still. He that is filthy, let him be filthy still. And so I ask our, our singers to come up for our final special music. As they sing this beautiful song, I want you to meditate. Pray to God and say, Lord, time is almost finished. And I see my heart right now, this vessel, el ese man But I want the manna inside of me. Thank you for reminding me, and thank you for holding back Satan's hot sun that, would have, that tried to melt the manna away. But you have provided manna for me even now during these last days, for this 10 days, so I can put it inside my, my vessel. And so as she's seeing the special music, contemplate on these things.
to heat up his son of persecution to get rid of the manna for years. But God would not allow him to melt the manna until his people were ready. But soon and very soon, God is going to allow his heat to melt up the manna. And by God's grace, I hope that by then, you will have manna inside the vessel. Amen? And so, I pray that each and every one of you will make a decision soon and very soon to put that manna inside the vessel. Allow Jesus to come in your heart. Shall we stand for a word of prayer? Heavenly Father, so thankful for your word this evening.
to awaken us up, to let us know that time is almost finished. And that your wish for us is to have the manna, Christ Jesus, who does not spoil in the vessels of our heart. And I pray for all who are here under the sound of my voice that may not have Christ in their hearts, that they would make a decision today that they will allow Jesus Christ to abide in their vessel. Watch over us and keep us as we dismiss. Bring us back tomorrow once again is our earnest prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.